what you have done and what you are going to do, Father God, for what you have created and what that will take form and formation. Hallelujah. Because even though we may see it as a seed at this point, at this time, but it shall give forth its fruit in due season. And I believe that the, the blessings that are happening over there as well as happening over here, amen, and I know that there's new birth. Uh, sometimes we get invited to different occasions, amen, of not only where there's funerals, amen, because there's a constantly part in our lives where portions of our lives that we have to have them to be laid down, amen, and it's, it's a continuance, it's not just a one-time thing, but it's a continuance where when we get into processes and the Lord refines us and, and where he takes us on, amen, to become uh, whom God has created us to be. And not only that, church, I'm saying that, uh, you know, God creates it, creates where we can have that, inti that intimacy, amen, that time of having just being with the Lord, amen, and hearing what the Spirit of the Lord is saying here today. So, Father, I thank you, Lord, that our ears are open, that our ears are prominent to what you would have us to, to not only hear, but what to say as well, Father God, that we are open and vulnerable to the things of the Spirit of the living God. Father God, that we are not just sitting down, Lord, but that we're resting in you, Father God. And it's the Spirit that speaks. And us, Father God, as hearers, will receive. So we thank you, Lord, for the lives whom you have touched, Lord, and whom you have created to come in and to be a part of family. Hallelujah. Lord, that it's not only for the two and three, but it's for all those who choose to come in. And that our bosoms will be full, Father God. That our bosoms will increase. And that we will increase ever the more, Father God. For whatever that you have in store for us. For the timing as well that you have permitted here for us to be on this earth. Yes, we see the trial. Yes, we see the circumstances. But as people of faith, Father God, you have asked us that may we not walk by our sight, but that we will walk by faith. So we thank you, Lord, for every channel and for every opening and that you use our lives, Father God, gracefully, that we may honor you and glorify you and, and bless your holy name and all the areas of the spaces and places that are even prophetically that are spoken in over our lives. We thank you, Lord, for the divine connections and Holy Ghost setups. We thank you, Lord, that they are only done by you alone and to you receive all the honor and all the glory. Father, use my mouth as a mouthpiece here today. May the fire that burns within my heart as well speak through my life, Father God, not only that it be my tongue is a ready writer, Father, but a, a life that is ignited for you and giving out this word of God. Thank you, Lord, for the privilege. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Have your way here today. Thank you, speaker family and all those that are connected. Amen. Not only to the Righteous Branch Ministry where Jesus is Lord, to Cruzando Fronteras, we're crossing those borders with a voice of alert here today. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Let me sing this song here before we go into the teaching. Amen. Above all powers, above all
Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless the name of the Lord here today. Oh, hallelujah. You know, we are just so excited to be in the presence of the Lord here today. Amen. Thanking the Lord that He is always going to make a way where there seems to be no way within each and every one of our lives. Amen. Open up your Bibles with me here today. I'll be reading out of the book of John there in chapter 10. Amen. And it's beautiful when we have that intimacy with God. Amen. When we have that one-on-one -on -one with the Lord. Amen. That He will touch us and He will use us mightily for His honor and His glory and His kingdom. Amen. For allow our light to shine ever so the more. Amen. Here I'm going to be teaching about the shepherd and his sheep. Amen. We know that Jesus is the Lord over the flock. Amen. We are the flock of the Lord. And as the Lord commits us to those who are messaging us through messenger. Amen. These are the people that God has called us to. Amen. As we do one-on-one -on -one FaceTime. Amen. As pastor and his families and those that as well that receive ministry. Amen as well as those in our third world countries, amen, and even to our families in Africa, amen. Allow the shepherd, amen, to be the shepherd of his flock. Allow him to be the Lord, the King, to be the pastor over his sheep, amen. And we are those people. Can I hear an amen? Hallelujah. We are those people that the Lord had called us out to be. Amen. I'm going to ask my daughter to help me a little bit just to turn that just a little bit just to see if we can get a little bit more, just a little bit of lighting. Amen. Not not, not the videoing, just the lighting. Amen. Jesus, the word of the Lord reads, Jesus said that I tell you the truth that the person who does not enter the sheepfold by the door but climbs in some other way is a thief and a robber amen and i'm here to share with you just a little bit more i'm here to share with you that jesus is the truth amen jesus is the doorway there will be no other person there will be no other way not even tina Vieska. are you listening to me church because even as we pray Amen. I'm always sending you to the one who sends me. I'm always feeding you to the one who feeds me. I'm always giving you to the one who has given me. Because the only thing that I can give is as my finger is pointed up that he's my pastor, that he is my Lord, and that he is my Savior, and that he is the truth. He is the only way. He's the truth. He is the life. And his name is Jesus. Can I hear an amen in the house? Hallelujah. That the person who does not enter of the sheepfold, amen, by the door, because we know that the representation of Jesus as well is the door. I love that this way when I was receiving that the door is open. Come on now. When we are in prayer, when we are in unity, when we are in oneness with the Lord, that there is a door to be opened. But when we come as a community, come as a unity, as a people of God that is surrounding, even in this hall today, the angelic realm is here. Come on now. Because we are all connected in one as the body of Christ is finally connected into the body. That not only are we opening the doors, I want you to hear this church, but we are opening gates to the city. Come on out. We are opening the, the, the doorways, amen, just the floodgates of heaven that are being poured out and opened before our lives as we come in community and in unity with the oneness 
in the Lord who who is our Jesus, who is our Savior. Let us not be blind in the signs of the times. Amen. That not only is he the Son of Man, but he is the Son of the living God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But when he climbs in some other way, amen, he is a thief and a robber. See, church, there is no other way. There is only one way. There is only one picture. We are only the figure. We are only the person. We are just like you. You know what? But just wanting to be used by the Lord. You know, I told my husband this way because he was telling me, you know, about this and about that. And I, and I can see it. I can see where he goes. And maybe, it may be so. And I'm thinking that the person that goes so much more higher, that you know what, that they're living outside of themselves. Because for people to be drawn by other people is to say that they have emptied out their life like a drink offering. Amen. And they're saying, Lord, use me. Use me in the kingdom. Use me mightily before you, Father God, as you will and as you may, Father God, that I want to enter in through the door, amen, and not to be that of a thief and that of a robber. But as we read in verse 2, the word of the Lord speaks that the one who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. See, the one who enters by the door, who is Jesus, he is the shepherd of the sheep. We are the sheep. Amen. We are the sheep of the flock, and the sheep of the flock cannot be greater than the shepherd. You know, it's not to be mixed up. Come on now. Because you can be mixed up from the head up. You know, we are told to be the body. The body of Christ functions. The body of Christ works. We're not the head. We're only the body. The body works and the body does what the head has spoken over the body. And that is to function the will of God. To work the will of the promise. It's not because we think we're something. No, we're only something through Him. Because He is the one that has sent us. And so, as a servant, come on now, because I like to go low. I like to roll right low, the lowest of the low, of humbling yourself. Because God says, when we humble ourselves before the Lord, you know what? He is the one that will lift you up before the kings. Come on now. He is the one that will put you before others. Hallelujah. Then it is no longer I. The I no longer exists except the I within me, who is the Jesus, who is the Lord, who is the Savior of the world. See, He is the Lord. He is the Savior. It's not because that I think that I'm something. No, it's the great I am that lives within me that I believe that I am something because I'm a believer. And I know that he lives within me. Greater is he that lives within me. Hallelujah. It's not that because I can do. It's because he did touch me this morning. And it's because he did wake me up this morning. And it's because he did give me the strength this morning. That I can bend my knees. And that I can put on my socks. And that I can put on my shirt. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me, church? See, we shouldn't be blind to those things. We should see all the wonderful things that God has created and that God has done and who He is within our lives. That He keeps us going on. That we're able not only to keep on going on. It's that we keep on and on and on and on. That we keep on keeping on. It's like knocking at the door. We just got to keep on going. You know what? If you don't receive me, that's okay. I love you. I'm going to bless you. But you know what? I'm going to keep on going on. Hallelujah. Because not only... You know what? You didn't keep me in a rut. Come on now. You didn't keep me stuck. You just 
just help me right out the door. That's okay. God's got something else for me. Can I hear an amen? Hallelujah. See, the one who guards the door opens it for him. See, not only do we have a, a front guard, we got a rear guard. We, we got, we got sh you know, shoulders guard. God, God, we have protection. I'm telling you, people want you to buy into securities. I'm telling you, we got a Holy Ghost securities. Come on now. We got the, the, the shepherd that, that watches over the flock. I'm talking about 24-7 protection. Why don't you buy in on that? Come on now. Hallelujah. See, he calls his own sheep by name and he leads them out. So I'm asking you, are we being the sheep that is listening when he calls us by our name? Because it's at a continuance that the Lord is always calling, that the Lord is always creating, that the Lord is always doing. You know what? When he gives you something in your mind to do, it's a creative thought, and he's the creator. It's not something that you just made up. That got torn up from the from the floor up. No, 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 no. He's he's the creator. He's the Lord of, of all of this. And you know what? It's by God. It wasn't your bright mind like they say it was the it wasn't the lightning that hit you. Come on now. No, it was the creator mind. God birthed that. God birthed that. God put that in you. And you know what? I, I see this. But before, you know, when I started just in Facebook, it was just one-on-one -on -one like this. The Lord already told me, your Facebook, Tina Vesco, will always be as a platform of ministry. And I would just go anywhere and do, and do it anywhere. But little bit by little bit, as the Lord began to lead me out to radio stations, and then we were pastoring and different areas and, and of course with the Righteous Branch Ministries and I've always say, you know, Jesus is Lord. I gotta say that. Amen. And then he led us to Granberry, Amen, where we minister to to the people there, Amen, where we're pastoring there. But still in all, God still had where we were doing radio, we were doing different ministry, Amen, and television at one time. Amen. And that's what I believe that God still has for us. And, and really, this is a, a video, which is a way of not only podcasting that we're able to do radio, but video is a way of broadcasting. Amen. And this is being published. And I'm saying this, I didn't know this. I didn't know this. But he says, I want you to do this, and I want you to do that, and I want you to do this, and I want you to do that. And I'm being obedient to the Lord. Amen? Why? Because when he calls our name, when he calls his own sheep by name, he leads them out. In other words, little bit by little bit. You know, you're not going to be able to go wrong when you're hearing the voice of the Lord. And, you know, I, I had to learn it this way, that sometimes, you, you know, you feel afraid to move forward. But if you never move forward and do things afraid, you got to counteract that fear with faith. Are you listening to me, church? And as you do that, hey, let's see if you did mess up. Well, you know what? That's just one thing off your list that you know not to do. <laughs> But you know what? When it works for you, praise be the glory to God. Hallelujah. You know, my, my, my son told me today, he said, Mom, what about, you know, these connections? What are you going to do with these connections? I said, one day you see me here, but the next day you may not. I may be in different, third more parts of the country. You never know. <laughs> because doors are going to begin to open. Amen. Doors are opening. Hallelujah. They're already invites. Come on now. I'm telling you that the Lord is the shepherd of his sheep. He is the shepherd of the flock. That is, he calls his own sheep by name that he leads them out. When he brings all his sheep out, he goes ahead of them. Amen. So I see that there's 
should be no fear there, that they will follow him because they knew his voice. You see, you have to be at a practice. Because a lot of the times, those that are baby in the Lord, they say, you know what? I can't hear God. I don't know God. I don't, you know, I'm just like, you feel like you're walking in, in the wind, amen? And, 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 and you're not you're not knowing the tune in, but sometimes you got to tune out to tune in. Are you listening to me, church? you got to tune out to the things of this world, amen? God's going to speak to you first and foremost through the Word of God. It may not be audible up in your ear. It may not be audible. You know, sometimes people say, you know, I feel it in my inner gut. Sometimes I, I feel it in, in, in my ear. You know what? The, the, the God speaks to people in different ways. Hey, if God wants to speak to you through a billboard, he'll do it. He may, he's going to speak to you through the video. Come on now. Many times, you know what? I was seeing a video and that word, it just hit my heart. It took me over. It led me. It girded me. It, that word just girded me and it guided me to, to the next realm, to the next step. He, that, that word put the pep in the, in the step of my life and I began to take the steps of faith. Because God leads us out. That he's going to call you out by name. That he's going to lead you out. That he goes ahead of you. And we will follow him because they know his. And not only do we know his voice, but we know him by his name. He is the great I am. He is the El Shaddai. Hallelujah. He is our tennis canoe. He is our banner. He is our Jehovah Rapha. He is the God that healed thee. See, they follow him because they knew his voice. And they will never follow a stranger. Because when there's a stranger, like I tell my girls, you know what? You need to be yelling, stranger danger, stranger danger. <laughs> And they will run away from you because they don't know his voice. But Jesus has told the people this story. And they did not understand what he meant. But I believe that we have people who are understanding today. There are people that are giving way to the sight of not only that of man, but that of God. To be born of God. And not to not only realize that they were born not only a man, but that of God. Amen. That God is the one that has ordained you. And God will never forsake you. And he will never leave you. Amen. He's going to lead you even in those dark places. Even though where you say that those areas may be steep, like you may be feeling that you're at the tallest of the tallest mountain and there's no step to move forward except the mountain that you see at a ways. But know that Jesus will lead you to every step. Amen. See, then in verse number 7, it says, And Jesus said again that I tell you the truth, that I am the door for the sheep. Jesus is our door. And all the people who came before me were thieves and robbers, that the sheep did not listen to them. I am the door. And the person who enters through me will be saved and will be able to come in and go out and find the pasture. And I'm not saying a pastor, a P A S T O R, but I'm talking about the pasture, a P A S T U R E. 
See, God says that he has come that we may have a life and enjoy this life. Church, God is wanting you to enjoy your life in and through the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Who's enjoying their life here today in the Lord? Can I hear an amen? Hallelujah. And verse number 10, it says, The thief comes to steal, to kill, and to, to and destroy. But I came to give this life, life in all of its fullness. See, the word of God says, but if you don't believe this because you are not my sheep, but my sheep listen. My sheep listen. So are you listening to my voice saying the Lord? I know them and they follow me and I give them eternal life. You know, this is the word that the Lord gave to me here today. So I'm asking you here today, is something stealing out of your life here today? Is something killing your life here today? Is something destroying your life here today? I'm here to offer you the Lord Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and who is our Savior. I'm letting you know that He is the only one true way. This is the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. It is to bring salvation to many, that many will come to the feet of Jesus, that many will be repentful of all our sins, to, to turn from our wicked ways, that we will confess. Confess. So let us pray here today. Let us come before the throne of God and ask forgiveness of all our sin. Maybe you say, you know what, Sister Cena, I've been shameful. I've been embarrassed. I've been doing things that I should not have been doing. But I'm telling you, church, God is an all-seer. He knows all things, but his arms are always open to those who choose to want to come. So I'm giving you the invitation here today. The altar's open. Saying, Father, I feel a pull in my heart. I feel something. I feel something. And Lord, if I have not been pleasing before your sight, cleanse me. Wash me, Lord. Make me whole again. But I never want to leave you. I never want to forsake you, Lord. And though I may have feel that I've been, I have fallen to the side. And even I feel like that, that fallen seed that have fallen to the wayside. And you allow the things of this world to literally crush it and eat it up and scorch it up. God is saying, let me renew you. Let me restore you. Let me put back on you that, that bright and, and shiny armor. Maybe you feel like your, your shiny armor has been dented up by the things of this world. Things that have, that have so hit your heart. Maybe your helmet has been beat up. Maybe the issues of your heart, your breastplate of, of righteousness have been dinged up. Maybe you need some oil in your knees here today. And it reminds me of the tin man. And he needs some oil, oil, oil. Hallelujah. Well, I'm telling you, there's fresh oil in the house here today. Just begin to move your muscles. Lord, we speak to the muscles, we speak to the tendons, Lord. Lord, that there is no distance in prayer, Father God. I speak to those who have arthritis in their bones here today. Father God, cause a healing, Lord. 
miraculous healing, Father God. Touch the mind, touch the heart, touch the soul of man, Father God. Bring your people back to the repentance. Bring you back. Bring them back, Father God. To have a cry, to have a hunger, to have a thirst of righteousness. For your people to say, here I am. Have your way in my life here today, Father God. Lord, use me mightily, Father. I never want to be the same in Jesus' name. Oh, Father God, calls me. Calls me to seek your face. Calls me to know you by your name, Father God. Have your way in my house. Have your way in my heart. Have your way in my life. Have your way in my mind. Oh, Rabako, Sere de Keshanda Yarabakoya. Sere and Boko, Boko Shete Yarabakaya. Oh, Jesus! Let your fire fall. Let your fire fall, oh Lord. Here we are, my Jesus. Jesus. Oh, the God that heals, hallelujah. Oh, that passion fall in the house, Lord. Let the renewal, let the renewal of the Spirit, Lord. Oh, let it turn, let it turn, let it turn. Oh, we want to be your friend, Jesus. Oh, you're my best friend, Lord. Oh, let the fire, 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 fire. Oh, let the passion, oh, let it be stirred up here today. Oh, fresh fire. Yes, Jesus. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. the shepherd of the flock, hallelujah, oh just ask the Lord, come and wash, come and wash, come and wash, come and wash, oh wash me Lord, wash me Lord, wash my mind, wash my heart, wash my body Lord, have your way with me, oh you're the only one in true God, you're the only one in true Savior Lord. Oh, we come on in, we come on in. Oh, we come on in, Father God. I want you to bring your petition before the Lord here today. What are your petitions before the Lord, amen? You know, I don't know what you have been going through. Maybe you have issues. Issues in your mind mentally. Issues in the mind of your heart. God is saying, I want you to lay those things down upon the altar. Amen. I want you to lay those things down upon the altar. Amen. I want to ask my daughter to come. Hallelujah. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Have your way here today, O oh Lord. Have your way here today, Heavenly Father. We want to bless your name mightily, Father God. Oh, hallelujah. You know, we're going to go into our Instagram page, amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord. We bless your name. Just a video through the Instagram. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Get in the other room. I don't know what petitions you have for the Lord, but God is doing a work here today. I want you to begin to feel the messenger. Amen. 
I want you to begin to feel messenger here today. Amen. All this week, all this week, all this week, we will be taking petitions and we are going to be going before the Lord. Amen. We're going to believe for the miraculous. We're going to believe for divine healings. Amen. You know, we have to step forward. We have to step forward. Amen. God is showing me through dreams and through visions. Amen. And I'm showing you here today. Today is not uh, by chance. Amen. You're not here by chance. Amen. It's not by chance that you are here. God is doing the work. Amen. And I know that this is even anointing. God is breaking yokes. God is breaking bondages. And God is setting the captive free here today. Amen. I believe healing is already taking portion. The bread, the bread, the bread, the bread. God reaches even to the Gentiles. And He shows through revelations. Amen. For divine healing that you may come, that you may come. Come in. Just come on in. Just come on in. Let us know. You know what? I gave my life to the Lord. And I'm going to serve the Lord I got only. We're going to get something to you. Amen. As you connect with us here today. Amen. Hallelujah. You may be seeing this on the replay. I want you to share this as a party. Amen. Where you invite all of your family and friends. Amen. To get in on these broadcasting here today, amen, to bless the lives of family, YouTube family, those that are on Twitter family, uh, those that are, of course, our Facebook family, Tina Vizca, Cruzando Fronteras, Amen, and I'm going to come in on some special video, video link, and then we are doing new things that the Lord is leading us to do and crossing over, amen. But I want you to know that we will be taking petitions, amen. So message me, put in your petitions all this next coming week, all this next coming week. I'm, going, I'm only going to be coming, at, coming in as the Lord leads me, as always, amen, as always. But we're going to be doing 